hello all welcome to my channel and if you are here for the first time i usually make videos that are useful for anything in the teaching world so this is the part two of the bamboozle series and if you haven't watched the part one i want you to stop this video and click the link below in the description box so right now we're going to have part two which is about how to make a game in bamboozle so first step log in if you have an existing account sign up if you don't have and if you don't have click the other video prior to this one and when you are successfully logged in go to your my game tabs and it will show you your games and these are my existing games and you just click the blue one that says new game so you, so you add a title of your game and to be honest i don't usually um add description to my game so i just add the title and for the sake of this video i'm just going to put a description about it which is just very short and to explore more about the functions you can actually add a picture to your game which i don't usually do so here you can upload it like this or put the link i don't like downloading videos so i'd rather put the link so question number one you'll just type in your question and then as you can see here, the layout is very simple. It's just question, um, how, how many points the student will have or what's the equivalent points of the question and then the answer. And then you can actually put some pictures. And as I said, I don't like downloading pictures, so I'd rather Google and copy the, the image address. So how to do that, you just right click, copy the image address, and paste the address in this box. So yeah, and you click the blue button, and you have your first question. You can actually also put some more options rather than putting the single answer option. So you can put your your other options which i don't because it's a waste of time for me i'd rather have the students think and yes you have successfully made your first question so it automatically saves your game if you just click close so let's try and check it if it works so yeah you click play game how many teams and you can customize it make a timer per per question and also skip and everything else you can see in the more options tab then you just go down and click the type of game you you want and i usually have the middle one which is the classic one that allows you to to make it more gamified than usual so yeah basically that's it and you're good to go so if you're gonna use Bamboozle for online purposes, then you can go back to your game and if you will see the share button below the game game box portion details here. And I don't know what it's called, but it's where the info is. Or you can copy the game code and share it to the parents directly by sending the link or the game code via WhatsApp or email, whatever you want. And yeah, good luck with your classes and I hope you enjoy this video.